speakers. So if you're here, that means that you're ready to start the module number two for working on your digital portfolio. So today what we're going to do is module tool is to make your portfolio homepage. So I just kind of want you to look at what I'm asking you to do before you get started. Um, this is going to be the home page of your portfolio. So the page people are going to land on when they go to your portfolio. So you want it to kind of represent you overall as a maker and a learner. And um, you've already clicked on this video tutorial, which I'm recording now, which is why you don't see the link. And um, just kind of read through again to see what I'm asking you to do. So you're going to access the progress that you've already made on your digital portfolio by going to sites.google.com forward slash new and then you're going to do some written content and some visual content so you're going to make a title in the first section and then you're going to write a short description of yourself so like a bio um, who you are as a maker and a learner and the types of things i want you to include are listed here so you know say what your name is the name of the school that you go to what class you're in what grade you're in um, you know, whether or not you consider yourself a maker, how much experience you have in making, um, you know, the things that you like to do outside of school, so some hobbies and, and things like that. Um, you know, what you look forward to making in this class, what you hope you can make, what you might be able to make in the future, things like that along those lines. Of course, you can add in other stuff if you want to um, and just, you know, answer as many of these as you possibly can in a nice flowing paragraph, but not as bullet points or answers to these questions, if that makes sense. Um, you're also going to find some kind of visual content to add to your page. So it could be a photograph of yourself. It could be a, um, a photo or a digital image of something that you've designed, maybe some original artwork, something that you've made in the past. And, you know, ultimately, if you get stuck or if you don't want a picture of you on your page, you can always add the picture or the scan of the um, identity your maker identity wheel that you made at the very beginning of the semester. So that's just kind of it. And then I want you to publish your page, publish the changes that you've made. You always want to publish the changes that you make on your site so that those changes go live. And then you're going to copy and paste the hyperlink into this part of the document here before you submit it. So let's just kind of go over step by step how to do all of these things on your site. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to open up my Google Sites and you'll see from mine that I have a couple Google Sites going. You guys probably only have one and that's going to be your maker portfolio for our class. So here I'm going to open up. So I'm going to double click on my maker portfolio. I'm going to open it up and I'm going to see the progress that I've already made because I did this you know, uh, week three. So if you haven't done this already, you need to make sure that you do week three is module one before you move on to module two. So let's just take another look here at what I would like you to do. So written content, I'd like you to title the first section with meet the maker. So how do I do that? So that's what I'm going to show you here right now. Um, to add a section to your site, all you do in this white area down here is double click and I'm going to add text. So I'm going to add a title. That title, I'm going to say, Meet the Maker. And if I highlight this, I can actually change it to a title. So I can change it to like a large title like this, or if I want it to be a heading. I kind of like it to be the size of the heading, so I'm going to leave it like that. And then I'm going to add text below it by double clicking below and adding another text box. This I'm just gonna leave as normal text because it's gonna be my biography. So this is gonna be my bio stuff. You guys are gonna type out you know, your whole bio like, hi, my name is Jamie Aegis. I am a ninth grader at Palisades Charter High School. So you're gonna kind of go through and look at all of these suggestions that I have for you to write about here and you're going to write a paragraph here in this section. You're also going to have to add a photo or a picture or some kind of visual documentation. 
So after you do all of the bio stuff, you're going to add some kind of a visual image. How will you do that? Well, same kind of way that you do th that you've added these two titles. If you double click here, you can see that I can add an image from my computer. I can um, go to my photos. I can go to Google Drive. I don't have anything in in my Google Drive right now. Um, and there's a, a couple different ways I'll show you how to do this. So you can add from Google Drive or you can use this upload button. So if you know where your photo or your image is on your computer, you can use upload and it opens up your um, file finder on your computer. My picture is right here. I placed it there earlier so that I could show you this example. So I can add my photo by um, going through my computer. If I wanted to, I'm gonna open up Google Drive. So if I wanted to use my Google Drive, like if I was on a Chromebook, I'd probably want to have the photo in my Google Drive folder. And so I'm gonna go into my examples folder because this is my example for you guys. If I get my original photo and I drag it into my Google Drive, and I wanna remember where I've put that photo, obviously, I could, if I wanted to, delete this by just clicking on the delete button here or the delete button here and remove. If I want to upload from my Google Drive, so my images from Google Drive, I can go to my drive. I will click on examples because that's where I know my photo is. And then I'll click here and I can insert this photo that way. Okay. Now, say you want, you already have a layout or you kind of have experimented a little bit with the different layouts that are over here and available to you. I'm going to delete all of this because I want to show you one other way that you can add all of this information. What you can do is if you look at these layouts over here, you see, oh, there's a place for a photo and a place to write some information. And there's, um, you know, different types of layouts down here and different, different things that you can add, placeholders, dividers, buttons, you know, and feel free to kind of mess around with those and, and learn what they do. But another really just kind of simple way to add this information would be to make sure you're on insert and click on this layout here. And look, it gives you um, this place right here where you can upload your photo. So I can do the same thing I did before. I can upload my photo. And I might want to, because I can't really see, you can't really see all of the photo. Um, I could enlarge the photo. I can even uncrop the photo so right here and you can and you can crop so you can like zoom into the photo like this if you want to we don't want to get that close though so I'm gonna leave it cropped there and then here's where I would add my title so it's already made for me title I'm gonna type in meet the maker and I particularly am kind of like a formatting person I like the way things look when I go on a website so I don't like the way that that's broken up onto two lines I'm going to make this photo a little bit smaller and then I'm going to drag this box over just so it kind of looks a little bit more even. And then here is where I would type in all of my bio information, blah, 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 blah. And um, from here, let's just go back to make sure I've included everything. So I have a title, I wrote my bio, and I've added my visual content, so my photo or my picture. Now what I got to do is I have to publish the changes I made and then I have to copy and paste the hyperlink into this document down here. How do I do that? I go back to my website. I make sure I have included everything. I click publish. And yes, so this is my draft. I can see that it's different from my when I first started. So yes, I want to publish my draft. I want to make that those changes go live. And once I've done that, the same way you gave me the link to your home page before, you're going to do that again. So up here where it says copy published site link, I'm going to click on this. I'm going to copy the link. I'm going to go back to my document. I'm going to click inside this box. And if you, get, if you have a mouse, you can right click. If you just want to use your keyboard, you can hit control V as in Victor or command V or you can um, if you have a trackpad, you can also usually right click on your trackpad by clicking control and then click on your trackpad. But I want to make sure that this 
hyperlink is in this box. And to make it a hyperlink, I can hit the space button and you can see that now it's a hyperlink. If I go to check on your portfolio, there it is, live and updated. So that's what I want you to do for today's module number two in your, in your portfolio. Make your homepage, publish it, submit this document, and then boom, you're ready to go. All right, hope you guys have a great weekend and I look forward to seeing you in our next live make.